What's up guys, Apex Gamer 2020 here. Welcome back to another Project Wingman video. And in today's video, we're going to be moving on with the campaign and I guess we're going to take out a communication center. I don't know, we'll see. Hope you guys enjoy the video. There's nothing much I need to say to you, Sicario. Operation Blackout will be conducted entirely by you. I cannot, however, express enough how important this strike is. Commander, you have the floor. The Ator Desert has hosted the Solana Communication Array for the greater part of the decade. It was a Federation project in country that was meant to boost and maintain the communications infrastructure of Cascadia. However, during the war, it has served as a jamming and communication facility. The very basis of a unified command structure is built on the pillars of communication. If we take out this facility, it'll be like yanking the rug out right from beneath their feet. The facility is heavily defended, hosting an airbase and a ground garrison on its own. The only way we're getting boots on the ground is via a mass airdrop, followed by relentless close air support from our fighter group until the entire place is overrun. It's as simple as that. Now normally, the Independence Force would be offering some assistance, but they can't afford that now. Under any other pretense, this is a suicide mission. Even with the Air Corridor Monarch cleared up, there's only enough fuel for a one-way trip. So the only way we're coming back is if we take the adjoining airbase after we hit the facility. Expect heavy air and ground resistance. Pillboxes, tanks, AA, airships, the whole shebang. If we pull this off, well, let's just say we'll be handsomely rewarded. Gold or glory, gentlemen. Get to your planes. The Cascadians call this place the Devil's Sandbox. So what does that mean if we're the ones playing in it, huh? <laughs> let's go. Think it means we're freaking nuts. One-way trip on this one. Unless we take that other airbase. Alright then, uh, let's go ahead and start the mission. Now we really need to select our plane that we take carefully. Alright, so we have three options of new planes we can get. We can get the SK-27, which looks like a really cool plane. We can get our F-15C, which looks like a pretty nice plane. Uh, this has slot 1 and slot 2 are anti-air and slot 3 looks like it's uh, air to ground. Or we can get our F-18, which only has two slots. This has two slots. This has three. So we're going to get the F-15. And this plane looks cool. Alright, so we're going to select our F-15. Multi-lock anti-air rockets. Semi-active. We get 36 of those. Alright, slot two. air missiles or I can get 36 more of those so we have a lot we have a lot of those now we do an air to ground or we can do some M lags multi lock anti ground missiles or we can do large uh, let's do the M lags Alright, so we're primarily set up for air-to-air. -air. Though we do have some air-to-ground capabilities. Is there anything else I could put on here? Semi-active air missiles. High damage, high tracking capability, anti-air weapon, target must remain painted by the pilot for usage. Ooh, we'll see the pain. A longer range of multi rod targeting clocking capability lower than average tracking performance. Oh, I think these were the ones that had crap accuracy. But those ones they have to wait until impact on. Boy, this is a tough call. Uh I guess we'll get some of those and more of those. Or I could really get one of each. I guess we're gonna get those, some of those, with some M lags. M 
many yellows do I get? So I get 36 of those. So if I double up on them, I get over 80 of them. Oops, I didn't want to hit that button. So screw it. Let's just go with those. I don't know how much time we're going to have to sit there on, to get on target. And then we'll go with 40 M lags. Alright, let's launch it. Oh yeah, 
Love gun range. Just, just got out of gun range. Oh, another one bites the dust. Alright, we can take our time taking out these bunkers here. Alright, we gotta take out these satellites. That sounds like a job for the M-Lags. Oh my lord! Holy cow, I kinda wish I had. I can do a gun strafing run if I had to. M lads will do some damage right here. Flying above your head, ready to knock you out at any given time. left over here. Monarch ready to fire. Did I miss that last time? Our ground units shouldn't have too much to worry about now. Alright, what do we got over here? Two AA guns. Get out of melee, that lad. Got him too late. Monarch, good luck. Monarch, miss a shot. Ground asset knocked out. Is that it? Executed. Shoot. Exclusive is close. Oh, we got a whole lot more now. Mission update. Oh my lord. That is a lot of targets. All right, I guess we'll start over here and work our way around. but not all. And we've got incoming fighters and gunships. Watch it. What is that? That is a big freaking plane. That's what that is. We're gonna have to take that down. Alright, now we've gotta take out the battle cruiser itself. He took that thing down pretty much with one good solid volley of rockets there. Down it goes. Alright, got another little PC right here. That black will take care of that. For those of you guys who don't know, HVT means how high value target. Satellites. Oh, 
My goal is to get as many points as I can, so I want to take out the green non high Oh my god, don't run into that. The green uh, target first. Okay, we're going to pop our flares. We're going to turn around on this big old HVT right here. To a volley of rockets. And that'll take care of that. Let's get out of the way of it. Most of them. Pop those satellites. Look at that rail gun. Wow, that thing fires. That F-18 before he gets off the ground. Swing back over here and grab this other tank. Take that bunker out. Got a lot going on around us. Okay, let's go up here and grab some of these planes right here. Bad flares didn't save you. This F-15 is doing us proud. That hits. Too close for guns. Not too close for guns. We'd be just right for guns, and we missed it anyway. Come on, get behind me. Smooth it out. Smooth it out. Got him. Pop that AA gun. Pop that AA gun. It took one hit of damage. Okay. Wow, that's a big plane. Box two. Woo. Man, we were heading right for it too. Okay, where else we got here? We got this guy causing us issues. Box two. Box two. Another one down. place the dust. Got uh Okay, we got a plane heading over this way. This could be one of the big ones. Let's see if one of these can knock it down. Nope, need another one. There it is. Oh, actually they might be able to fire one of these and grab it. Still have quite a few of them left. Dodge with his uh, flares. That should do it. No, it missed again. Oh yeah, we're in a great position for guns here. Down he goes. Gonna be going down. Yes, got him. Target down. Okay, we got a satellite right there with an AA gun. 
But if I start gunning, I can probably hit that AA site. Or not the AA site, the uh, satellite. Ooh, that was something crashing right in front of us. more green targets left. The rest of it's going to be priority targets. Positive tone. Midman 1 within gun range. Okay, right on Down target. goes the rail gun. Alright, we got a lot of cool stuff over here to blow up. That rail gun needs to definitely go. Okay, so there's still those buildings right there. They're easy enough targets to hit. Oh, come on, there it goes. Alright, then the rail gun was the high value target. Target down. Take out most of those substations. Normal contacts across the board. Mission complete. We got everything dead. There's no targets Long left. Units. Confirm. with solar panels. All right, pick up what you need to get out of here. We can celebrate when we're back at Rose Dower. We got a $3,000 bonus payout. Nice. So we got a $27,000 payout out of that. That was pretty dope. Alrighty guys, with that is going to do it for this episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and as always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.